The caterpillar that is to become the monarch butterfly is a voracious eater and it will consume and destroy its environment before it goes into the cocoon, into the chrysalis. And if you believe that we follow the natural rhythms and patterns that nature is showing us, it's a beautiful analogy for what we have done here on planet Earth. We have consumed almost to the extent where we cannot consume much longer. But the caterpillar goes into this state where everything breaks down into chaos. If you were to look inside, it's mush. It is this thick, sticky, gooey mush that looks like total chaos from inside. But then this beautiful thing begins to happen. A few specialized cells begin to awaken before the others do. They begin to awaken and recognize that something new is possible. And they are in fact called in biology, the imaginal cells. And it is those imaginal cells that inform all of the other cells in the, in the sticky gooey mush that something greater is possible. And they become the organizing principle that allows the other cells then to align following what the imaginal cells now have shared as possible. Everyone in our audience tonight, everyone tuning in, everyone on this panel and many others that may not even know are the imaginal cells in our collective awakening. 